and welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Veronica. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am in Ravenclaw House and today I actually have something very special to unbox for you guys. It is the Chimmy Harry Potter Infinity Gift Box set. So if you would like to see what is inside, then stay tuned and I hope you guys like the video. If you do, please click the like and the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get on to the unboxing. So I was actually out looking at my local Barnes & Noble the other day for advent calendars for Harry Potter and I actually came across this one. Um, it was retail for $39.99 so I did pick this up myself. It was not gifted and I've never had one of these before. I've seen other booktubers and YouTubers unbox them and they seemed really interesting and since I am such a Potterhead I thought I would get this to help cheer me up a little bit with everything that's going on right now in the world. It never is to have a little pick me up and Harry Potter is definitely one of the things that does make me smile. So let's open this on up and see what we have inside. Now this is the kind that you actually have to open up and turn them and it keeps opening up in different ways. So we'll actually figure this out together, how this works. Um, none of the doors are numbered. There are 18 of them. So that you are definitely guaranteed 18 different surprise gifts in here. So up here on the top, we do have Harry's glasses and the lightning bolt scar. And then below we have our first two drawers, Luna Lovegood and Crookshanks. And then below that we actually have what looks like Hermione's wand. And then below that we actually have Fang, the three-headed dog, and another door that actually has the death mark. And then over here we do have, I believe it's the Nimbus 2000. Then we do have the Gryffindor lion symbol as well as a golden snitch and Cornish pixies and our another door with Hedwig with a Hogwarts envelope. So I will actually open up the Luna Lovegood one and see what's inside. Now I have had absolutely no spoilers for this so I'm actually seeing this for the first time with all of you. And we actually have a little Harry Potter keychain. I'm going to take him out of the bag to give you guys a better look at it. And it's actually Harry in his dress robes for the Yule Ball. This is actually really cute. Um, I can either hang it on my purse or on a book bag. So that was actually really neat. I'll actually keep all the items back in the drawers for right now until I find a place I want to display them or actually go to use them. But next up we also have in the Crookshanks box. Let's see what we get in here. We actually have another keychain and it is actually Ron in his dress robes. Now, most of you might remember from Goblet of Fire when Ron gets his dress robes. They're actually hand me down robes from a family ancestor, from his great aunt Hussie. So, that is actually pretty funny that Ron and his dress robes definitely. One of the funnier moments from the story. And then next up we do have the dark mark door. So I will reach inside and see what we come up with for this box. 
and we actually have a iron-on patch. It actually is platform nine three quarters. And with a patch, you can put it on a pair of jeans or a jacket or even a bag if you want to. And let's see, next drawer that I have is Hedwig. So I will definitely, I'm curious to see what we do get in this. And it's actually, it looks like a pack of magnets. Sorry, you guys might, might be hearing some traffic from outside. I do have my window open today for some fresh air. So in this one, we actually have the Gryffindor Lion Magnet. And we also have the Slytherin Magnet with their snake um, representation. Sorry, I drew a blank. Uh, Let's see, the next door that we have on this side is actually the Gryffindor Lion. Let's reach inside and see what we get. And this is actually, oh my god, I do like this. The Hermione Christmas tree ornament. Uh, I actually do like this. I actually like the fact that they changed her dress from the book, which was blue, and in the movie they changed it to pink. My favorite color is pink, so I was happy either way, but I definitely liked the movie version better. Now, let's see on the end here, we actually have some more drawers. Up here on the top, we actually have a Thestral and some luggage, the different trunks, and the ticket for five from nine three quarters. And then here we have the Ravenclaw crest, and then we have a unicorn in the dark forest, and a potted mandrake, and then. Down below on the bottom we have the Slytherin House Crest. So on this side I will actually open up next the Festal drawer. And we shall see what's in here. So we have the other two mascot magnets. If I can ever get the bag open. I forgot to bring my wand this time. Sorry guys, it's actually in storage still with the rest of my Harry Potter things. Eventually I'll get all my decorations back out again. But this one is actually the Ravenclaw magnet. And then last but not least we have the Hufflepuff badger. Now I know with regards to my house Ravenclaw, it's supposed to be an eagle, and this time I believe it is not. It looked like it was more of like the raven than it was an eagle, but it all depends on, I guess, when they're producing the, the items, which way they want to go. But the next one that I got, I pulled out, is the one with the trunks on it and the platform nine three quarters ticket. And in here, we actually have Another magnet is actually Hedwig. I think that's really cute. I actually do have the bookmarks that are the chimney ones that I actually got from Target, I believe. Yes, it was Target. And Honestly, I know a lot of people don't like the Chimmy version of the Harry Potter line, but honestly, I don't see any issue with them. I like them. So I guess it's just based on your preference as to whether or not you do. But on the back of the box, 
all of the cubes when they're put together the right way, it actually forms a picture of the Hogwarts castle with Harry on his broom and you actually see Buckbeak flying overhead the castle. And there's little Hedwig down at the bottom. So on the other side we actually have at the top the Gryffindor crest and then we have our favorite twins George and Fred, and one of them has Mischief Manage written over his head, and the other one is actually standing by the One-Eyed Witch. Then the next section down actually has the Hufflepuff crest, and on the bottom we actually have one of the drawers that actually has the Quidditch rings and the Golden Snitch on it. So I will actually open up that drawer next, and we'll see what surprises in here. So in here we have another Christmas tree ornament and this time it is Harry in his dress robes. Now these are really neat. I do like them. They're like little stuffed animals. You don't have to put them on your tree if you don't want to. But I probably might put them on my shelves as decoration this year. And then inside we flip it. This is what we get to see this time. And over here on my right, we have Harry with his wand, Expelliarmus, and a drawer with Professor Lupin. Then we have Neville and his toad Trevor. Another door that has Dobby, the house elf. And one we have here that shows Hermione and Ron, and it says Wingardium Leviosa, and charm makes an object fly, with a question mark. And then down here we have an image of Ron with Engorgio, and next to that we have Buckbeak on a drawer. And we have a picture of Hagrid and Fang. And below them, we actually have Draco Malfoy with the spell Serpent Sortia. And a drawer with our Slytherin snake. And then at the very bottom, you do see the Basilisk. So I'm actually going to open up the drawer that has Professor Lupin on it and see what gift we have this time. And here we actually have a little luggage tag. And it's actually just a little cardboard tag that says platform nine three quarters back to Hogwarts and it has our golden trio with the Hogwarts Express engine. And on the back it actually has a place for you to put your name and address with the little platform nine three quarters stamp in the corner. So that's really cute. I do, I probably won't use that one on a bag. I might just say that for like decoration. But the next drawer that I am going to open up is Dobby. And inside here we actually have a Dobby gift. So we have, this is actually a Dobby eraser. that's really neat. Pretty big box for a tiny gift. I'm sure they could maybe put it into a smaller box, but maybe there were other gifts that needed more room. The next box that I have out, or drawer I should say, is actually the Buckbeak drawer. So we will see what Buckbeak has for us. 
and it is actually a buckwheat themed gift. It feels just as heavy as the Dobby eraser, so it might be another eraser. And that's exactly what it is. It's actually a Dobby, a uh, Dobby, a buckbeak eraser. Sorry guys, words, I'm kind of messing up today. And in the Slytherin themed drawer, we actually have a pin. Let me get this out for you. So we can all see it together. And it is actually a little enamel pin of Harry in his dress robes. And it says, Hogwarts is my home. And on the back, it's actually a little metal clasp. So that is definitely cute. I will definitely be putting that with my other Harry Potter pins that I have. So let's see what we have on the other side. So now we have the Oh, that's right, we did do that side. Sorry guys. I actually just majorly made a goof up. No, we did that one. So now we have to turn it again. That's right. I'm just learning how this works the same as everybody else's. So on this side, we actually have at the top, we have a picture of Sirius Black on top of the Hogwarts castle. And then on the other side, yes, here we go. There aren't any drawers on this side, but I will show you the pictures. At the top we have Sirius, Harry, and Hermione on Buckbeak. And next to that is actually Harry in his dress robes. And then the next row down we actually have Hagrid all dressed up for the old ball. And then it is the Grand Staircase, and then Mrs. Norris, which is Filch's cat. Then we have Lord Voldemort with the dark mark, Quidditch Harry on his broom, and Ron in his dress robes. And then down the bottom, we actually have a bigger picture of Lord Voldemort. And it looks like to be Severus Snape down in the potions room. So let's see what we have on the next side. There we go. This side we actually have, on the right we have a picture of the Dementors. And below that is Victor Crumb. And then we actually have a drawer with the Monster Book of Monsters. And below that is Severus Snape at the Yule Ball. Then over here we actually have Aragog and some of his spiders. Then we have Fleur Delacour. And it looks like that's Scourge and one of the Patel twins. And the Scourge drawer is actually one of the gifts. So the first one I'm going to open up on this side is actually the Monster Book of Monsters drawer. And in here, we actually have a little mini sticker note pack. And it actually, I believe it does have Harry on it. And it does. It's actually a image of Harry and his wand. And it actually says Expelliarmus. Very faintly on there. But you can see it. But they are little sticky notes. So that's always nice that they include some stationery in this box. Because I know you can never have too many sticky notes. Whether it's for school or just like a mini to-do reminder. But on this box that has scabbers, we shall see what gift he has for us. And it is actually another pin. 
and this time it is Hermione Granger and her Yule Ball dress. Her Yule Ball dress. And her backing card says Hogwarts is my home. And she actually has the same pin backer type that was on the Harry card, the little metal pin backing. So let me see if there is another drawer on that side. No, let's see if there's anything on the end here. No. Okay. So this time when we flip it, we actually have on the top we have a drawer with the Hufflepuff badger on it and next to that we have a picture of Professor Minerva McGonagall in her Yule Ball dress robes. Then below her we have the Hogwarts crest and a drawer with Professor Dumbledore and Fox Phoenix. And then next to him we have an image of Hermione at the Yule Ball. Then the next row down we actually have an image of the Hogwarts Express, Hogwarts Express train engine. And the drawer next to that is actually platform nine and three quarters. And then we also have Dumbledore image. And then we have the Ravenclaw drawer. And we also see Draco Malfoy in his dress robes. So I'm actually going to, this time, open up the Hufflepuff drawer and see what we have in here. And this time, we have something different. So I have obviously no clue what it could be. They never tell you on the outside packaging what is included. So... Well, open this up and find out. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a scarf or a bag, but it actually is a bag. And it says Spells and Charms. And it shows Draco Malfoy at the top with Serpent Sortia. Then below him are Harry with Expelliarmus. Linda Lovegood with Expecta Patronum. And Hermione Granger with Ling Lingardium Leviosa. And it's a nice little lightweight ca canvas tote bag. So it's perfect for either snacks, like for the beach, or if you're out and about, or even to carry like a small book. So I do like that. I will definitely be using this bag. I don't know if I'll be using it kind of like a either like a mini tote bag or even maybe a mini lunch bag for work. But I will definitely get good use of that bag. So the next drawer I have is the platform nine and three quarters. And in here, two things. Okay, this is actually perfect for my bullet journals. The first one we have here is washi tape. If you can get this plastic off. This one actually has image, you can actually see it's multiple images on different rounds. But on the outside here we have Victor Crumb. I'm trying to see if it'll come in focus for you guys. Then we have Ron Weasley. And then we have Harry Potter. And Hermione Granger. And then we have Little Hedwig. And on the other roll, we actually have, it looks to be the house mascots. 
here as I can find the seam to break it. There we go. So on here we do have the Gryffindor Lion, the Ravenclaw Eagle, the Hufflepuff Badger, and next to the Hufflepuff Badger is actually little snake for Slytherin. I know he's really hard to see. There might be a better image of him. There it is. I do apologize for my camera being out of focus. I'm still getting used to the new phone that I have. So trying to learn how to focus the images is kind of tricky yet for me. But I am learning. And on the Dumbledore drawer, we'll see what gift Professor Dumbledore and Fox have for us. And it looks to be a sticker sheet. Oops. And there goes Hermione. Okay, I'm back with Hermione. I finally was able to reach her and pick up where she fell. Sorry about that folks, this time you get a little blooper in the video. So we do have four stickers. The first one is Hermione using the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Then we have Harry with the spell Expelliarmus. And next we have Luna Lovegood with Expecto Patronum. And last but not least, we have Draco Malfoy using Serpent Sortia. Now I might use these in either my bullet journal or my reading journal that I have. I'm not quite sure yet which one I want to use them in. And the next drawer that I have is the Ravenclaw drawer. And in here we have what appears to be a lens cleaning cloth. But I will find out for certain as soon as I can get out of the plastic. There we go. And it is a lens cleaning cloth for your glasses or your phone or tablet, whatever the case may be, but it actually has all of the Chimmy characters that are on the box. We have a little Hedwig, Harry, Hermione, Victor Crumb, Patil Twin, Dumbledore, Hagrid, Draco, let's see, is there anyone else they missed? Ron. So pretty much all the characters that were on here they have. But that's always good. I will definitely use this because my glasses are always getting dirty on me and I do need to always keep up with them. So let me see if we have any other doors. Did we do the monster book with monsters? Yes we did. Looking. I think that's actually all the doors. Let me just double check real quick. Two, three, four. Six. Seven. Nine, ten. Sorry guys, I keep counting. I'm not sure. That was definitely all of them. So let me know down below in the comments what was your favorite item from this box. And do you guys have this? And what did you guys think about the items that you received in it? Hopefully my next video that I will be doing will be a different kind of unboxing 
for a book club subscription box that I belong to. I'm a rep for. And then I will have, hopefully, for the holidays, one more unboxing video for you guys that is Harry Potter related. I'm trying really hard to work on getting my hands on something. Fingers crossed I can pull it off. Um, so definitely hit the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I do post another video. And don't forget you guys can always follow me on Instagram at Scarlet Book Nerd and over on Twitter at Wendy for Life. So I hope you guys like this video. Again, if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. And I will see you again soon.